Um, I am on my Mac here. Because we're about to do some Mac stuff. All right. Um, let me move this this way. Then I can be bigger. This way. Hello? Hello, there we go. Yo, sailing, welcome. And I uh, get the chat somehow. Hmm. Display capture, game capture, window capture. No, it doesn't seem so. Move, yes. Um, it needs to be like a region capture. Must be display capture. Yo, Chris Oyman, I literally just install AutoGPT on my Mac. Oh, nice. I'm trying to make like a one click install for it on Mac. Just like porting over the script that um, Troubleshoot made for Windows. I'm going to try to make that for Mac. Just setting up my stream. Give me one sec. What the hell? No. All right. Don't worry about that. Um. I wonder how else I can get TikTok chat. Why does that break everything? Nice, use GPT to help you set up auto GPT. That's it. Chat GPT is so helpful. Good. TikTok. Oh, annoying, what the hell? If I try to add a display capture main, nope. Oh, it's because it's also, sorry guys. All right, we're gonna have to do it without TikTok chat on the screen. No, what did I delete? Whoa, what is happening? What is that? Okay. You like my vids, Chris? Thank you. Hi, Reshma Thomas. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good day. I'm going to be trying to install... Well, I'm going to be trying to make this script. Let's try to find it. All right, switching over to the Mac, finally. Uh, let's get Chrome up. Um... So Parachute made this script, auto GPT, this is it. How do I close out the tabs? Like um, yep, this is the script. It's only 200 lines. I want to know if ChatGPT can turn this Windows 
uh, PowerShell script into um, a shell script for Mac. Let's see. Thanks for the follow, Rachel. Do you guest? Um, like guest live? I don't know how to do that. See, I'm using TikTok Studio. And um, I don't know if I can have a guest on this. Multi guest. Oh yeah, I can. Allow requests from viewers. Okay. I'm turning it on now, Resha. I can invite you. I've invited you. Oh no, you requested. I accept it. Now what? Hello, can you hear me? Talk. Yes. Hello. Good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. Have you tried the God Space for the? I've tried God Mode. What's yeah, God I Mode. I mean, yeah, God, God, God Mode. Yeah, God Mode Space. Yeah. So let me ask you this. I tried working on it, trying to do the uh, scraping of website, which is on the list, and I wasn't able to get results. How do I get results out of it? Um. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Because it kept on going for almost two hours, but... You, you didn't get any results? No. And I was like, oh. what am I doing wrong? I don't know. Does it say... Where does it say it definitely can script, scrape from the internet? You said? Yeah, you can. I mean, if I'm... So my query was basically to create a database of all the hospitals and clinics. Mm-hmm. And... Um, you know, in, in a basically in a, in a particular country. So it wasn't able to take it out. Yeah, I'm not sure if they say that it can view the internet or not. It does, I... right? Because it, it keeps on going back to the uh, Google for searching. Okay. Yeah, I think it might just be able to Google though. It like can't view website tech uh, contents. I wasn't able to get it to do it either, to be honest. Mm. Even even on because I even tried with the API and I wasn't able to get it. And then I tried it on the other one too, which was with the the GitHub. And even on that one, I did not get the results out. So I was like, how do I do it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Have you tried um, Agent GPT? Mm. I think that one can. I have tried, but yeah. GPT, but no, again, like I said, I'm not able to get the results out. Like they keep doing a lot of things, mm -hmm. but the results what I'm expecting is a database or probably like a, a text documentation that has data in it saying, okay, X, Y, Z is the hospital. This is where it is located. This is where it is. Yeah, I got you. I'm not sure if they can like, so I know Agent GPT, you can like save the conversation history. But as far as oh. like writing to files and stuff, I'm not sure if that's something they're very good at yet. I wasn't even able to do a website also. I mean, somebody else was able to do a website, but I wasn't able to do it. Like create a website? Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. With which tool? They tried it with God mode. Oh, cool. Where did you see that? Can I, can I have a look? Mm, on TikTok itself, on TikTok itself. I've been following, I'm, I've been working on this for the last three weeks, trying to oh, get shit. one thing out, out, you know, and I'm not able to. Damn. Three weeks. How much does it cost you? Not much, because I'm not a little hmm, careful. Nice. Yeah, I'm sorry, at this stage, I'm not really sure what I can do because everybody you. says you can do stuff but then no you can't <laughs> you know yeah. nobody's getting results out and they're like they're lying yeah I haven't really gotten any good results either so I don't know where, where are people making it so that's that's what my challenge is I've been trying to figure this thing out I've been trying on BOD since morning since I got the approvals yeah Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I wish you the best of luck. I'm um, sorry. Too. I wasn't able but to I help out. You know, I I'm, feel I'm, like... I'm trying to... Yeah. See, I'm trying to create a list. I mean, because any of this should actually make sense. Otherwise, it doesn't... I mean, the fact that somebody can actually say things doesn't really help. But if it doesn't do the actions that we want on yeah. a business wise, it's just useless. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Did you manage to convert? Sorry? You are hosting this under the TikTok Studio, correct? Yeah, I'm streaming with TikTok Studio. And, That's right. And and they're not they, they do not give you a ban because okay, it is under education. Okay, because in my country they're giving me a ban. They only For what streaming? Games. Yeah, they're only allowing games. Really? Mm. No, I don't. I don't remember seeing that in their terms here. Ours, it is. Which country is that? <laughs> it goes three, UAE, three to six. Yeah. Damn, Chat GPT. Yeah, I feel like this file is too big for it to convert all in one go, so I might do it bit by bit. Um, let's, yeah, let's do that. Bomboni says, yo, can I join the conversation? I have a few questions. Yeah, sure. Let me load up my studio. Um, okay, you're in, Bomboni. Go for it. Fireteller said, I tried to subscribe, but it errors out. Hey, can you hear me? Subscribe to what? Yeah, Bomboni, I can hear you. Yeah, I got a few questions. Um, so you're using Auto GPT, right? Um, I'm not using it regularly. I have used it, yes. Yeah, but is it like, uh, is it, is there already a GPT version which could also, uh, like, automate browser tasks, like actually take over a computer, or not, not yet? Um, I reckon it definitely exists. I don't like. I tried to get Auto GPT to do that on stream a day or two ago, but it didn't look like it was actually like clicking any buttons on a web page. It does use Selenium, which is used for browser automation. But from my testing, I didn't actually get Auto GPT to browse. Are, are you trying to automate Bomboni? I'm actually trying to. Well, I have a website that's already like having. Chat GPT in it, Shit. like not Chat GPT. I mean GPT three, basically the API, yeah. and it's already doing some tasks on autopilot. Uh, yeah. But I was wondering, like that's on a site which which is running WordPress, uh, but I haven't figured one out yet for Windows. Like that would be so cool, like <laughs> to have something actually see what you're doing. But I, I, I'm I'm sure that it needs to be I'm, trained. Have you tried Guardian.ai? Have I tried what? Bardeen.ai Body? Bardeen, B-A-R-D-E-E-N Bardeen, no? Yeah, so what What you, I think in that one you can automate a couple of tasks and you, you can take it through a couple of hoops as well and you can integrate it with the with the API I've been trying to since morning I've been trying to extract um, what is it called, all the jobs yeah, on the Google, on the on the Google, uh, on the Google Jobs. Basically, I just yeah. have to right click, and it will automatically create a shortcut, and it will pull every all the data into an Excel sheet, and then I can further process it from there. Ah, okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Are you, I'm I'm using a, another program for it's a software actually. Andre, it's uh, called Zeno. It's called Zeno Poster. I don't Zeno know if you heard about it. It's a Z E N N O and then poster, Zeno yeah. poster. It's um, 
it's uh, basically what you just described is what it's built for like uh, scraping data and um, then oh. basically you can do whatever you want to do with it like put it in google sheets or or load it up somewhere else or automate any like registration forms or login forms yeah but i I've, I've been using that a lot a lot for my work but uh, i figured maybe if there's a tool that can like see the browser or the desktop with chat i'm going to try could, to like, help that chat gpt also has an interface i think it was one of the um, what is it called um one of the um, 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 it is a chrome extension what it does it it actually helps you browse the web collate all the web information pull the data in and then process and do the analysis analyzation from there wow I'll have so to it check is apirm <laughs> i believe that is a chrome extension oh no no no! i have that one it's that's something else it's uh okay. yeah they 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 put it now behind a paywall which i think yeah. is really bad that's the, <laughs> because they don't actually the, all they did is like aggregate other people's prompts and uh yeah i don't know they styled it nicely in chat gpt but now that they're behind a paywall i think it's a bit you know strange I mean, because it's a community that. driven tool yeah, yeah. Um, Zeno Posture, I'm not able to find the website, and I wonder why. Zeno Lab. Yeah, Zeno Lab is the one, exactly. It's the, the people are from Zeno Lab. The company's called Zeno Lab. But they mm -hmm. have several tools. One of them is Zeno Poster. The other one they have for Android, it's called Zeno Droid. Um, and they have a, a Cap Monster, which is resolving any capture, like Google Recapture, stuff like that. And they're quite a, they expensive to take this. Your no, fire teller uh, added a goal. No, it, the Bardeen it, it, one is much cheaper. I mean, the Bardeen one is free actually for me. Yeah, it's 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 it can uh, usually it's for people that have like a goal to make money with it. So uh, you can run anything that you've built multi-threaded and also on a VPS or a dedicated server. So. Usually they just print money with it. <laughs> no, I mean, there's no problem paying money. The problem is when you're trying to automate 20 different things and 20 yeah. different things, each one is asking for 20 to $50. It, when you add up, unless and until you have a scalable oh, business. Oh, no, 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 it no, really no, no that, that's, not, uh, that's not the case because when you've built your script, you run it, um, you can run it multi-threaded um, and then uh, you can still build any other automation again and just have like a, you can run all of them at once or even schedule them or whatever you like it's uh, yeah where are you located if i may ask please uh the netherlands netherlands okay over here we do not, we do not get we don't get that kind of business over here to cry even for ten dollars where, where are you from in dubai you all say dubai. i mean we come to dubai but trust me they don't pay you that much Oh, okay. Yo, guys, I'm gonna take off the guests and continue with this. Thanks for uh, sorry. thanks for joining. Yeah, bye -bye. That's fine. Um, yeah, no worries. Andre says, is AutoGPT even good, bro? From my testing, I wasn't able to actually get to any good result. But it's so overhyped. That's why I'm making so much content about it, just because everyone seems interested in it. FireTeller says, on iOS, it says subscribe, but on TikTok, I have no active subs. I'll get support. Thanks, FireTeller. You'll be my first sub. I've never had a sub before. On, like, any platform, like a paid sub. So that's like super exciting for me. Um, okay, so I'm trying to convert this um, Windows batch script into a uh, like shell script that can run on Mac using ChatGPT. I'm getting it to like translate. And where are we up to? So 
So we did the first bit up to the third step. So pretty much from here. Three, where was three? Up to the third step. I don't think we did if conda is found. No. Update session. Yeah, okay. So let's just try to do the rest. Actually, is that too much? We'll do we'll do the next um, 50 lines. Okay, we'll just do the next block. Yeah, next step. We'll just do it step by step. Oh, shit. What did I press? Oh, uh, this, my copy is broken, and if conda found. Um, did they activate here? So let's just check the what it's done so far. Number one, install chocolatey FFSL chocolatey install sh dot bash. Is that a thing? I mean, we'll test it. And then install git. Oh, and it's using their own git install thing. Uh, Oh, it's gonna be a whole nother shell script, isn't it? Let's see. It's a shell script within a shell script. I mean, a PowerShell script within a PowerShell script. All by this parachute guy. Um, how big is this? Oh man, this is another like 200 lines. Oh, but it works. Oh no, it doesn't. The script is only for Windows. Oh man. I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. Um. I'm feeling getting this to work will actually be a lot more difficult than what I originally thought. Let me just see what else I can do. We... Uh, one sec. We can actually try doing something successful with auto GPT. That's what Atia wanted. Um, we could do like, let's see what other people have been doing. I'm gonna get out of this Mac view here. Let's go to normal view, please. Okay, normal view. Um, TikTok chat, yay! I'm just gonna move away my Mac stuff here to make some room. Um, I'll leave it open there. Okay. All right, Auto GPT time. Let's look at Twitter. I want to see what people have done with this thing. Why is it so hyped? What videos are people watching? Or is it just TikToks like mine that like don't really say much, but like pique the interest? Search Twitter, auto GPT. I want to see people show off. A web-based version of auto GPT. Oh, I've tried this, Cognosis. Um market research it finishes the t 
tasks. Then what? What's the output? Nothing. <laughs> um. Order you coffee at Starbucks? Can God not really do that? I don't think you can. Dude, they're all capping. Just auto GPT Jade. Um, was that April 13? We need, can we sort by, sort by like time, hide sensitive content, no I don't want that. Um, advanced search, dates, from, wow this is a shit interface, maybe April the 16th to today, April the 20th. Nothing. Oh, I didn't have a... Wasn't GeoHots meant to fix this? I guess we're all distracted by LLMs now. AutoGBT has exploded. Number one trending on Twitter. Wow, it's so hyped. Here's the top 10 threads that leave your jaw on the floor. What is it? Let's see. Ryan says, what's your main line of work day to day? Um, normally like different types of programming, mostly like web development. What do you need to know about AutoGPTs? The do anything machine. Oh, I've seen this thread. These are all shit. We should just officially say that it still needs development and not to expect it to be able to do anything because that's kind of what it's like at the moment. Yeah. Um, Auto GPT orders a pizza. This isn't even Auto GPT user interface. People are just spreading these rumors, and it's like, oh yeah, Auto GPT can do this. But it can't. Um. If I was to spend my time developing around this tech, what should I do? feel like a browser navigating um, a browser navigating GPT tool AI browser navigator does that exist Natbot let AI control your browser like this type of shit Yeah, shame it's paywalled. All right, let's just Google that. But I feel like an all-in-one web app would be great. One place to do a lot. The problem with a web app is you're limited from browsing the net itself. Like you can use APIs to fetch data, but you can't actually 
see renders of a website and interact with it, I think. Yeah. Here's a demo. Whoa, it's a single Python script. Very cool, let's watch a demo. You guys can't see the left. Make a reservation for four. Oh man, I wish I could. I'll have to explain what's happening on the left. So we Googled for a restaurant and it, now it's actually booking the restaurant. On the left, you can't see it, but it's going through the website, the Google website and booking it. That's pretty sick, let's try this out. This is pretty old too, look, six months ago. No one's talking about this. I'm gonna try it out. Um, I get cloned it. I'm gonna, wait, did I copy the whole thing? Nope. Get cloned that butt. Now let's open it in VS Code. Not what? Select folder. All right, here it is. Actually, just one script with how many lines? Seven hundred lines of Python code. You need to set your Open API key to your API key, then run this from terminal. Where is that? In dot env. So you make a new file, do the, what? Not that. Why isn't my NeoVim working anymore? The hell, there we go. I'm just bugged out. And I'm gonna get my API key off the screen here. And just save this to dot env. Um, the vultures are watching, waiting for me to leak my API key. Not happening, vultures. And now we just run it. I think I gotta do pip install requirements or I'll just um conda create netbot. Netbot. Let's use conda. Under activate natbot Python natbot pi no module playwright oh it's cool it's using playwright pip install playwright oh that's a nice looking loading bar now what does it want me to install open AI open AI Now, nothing. Well, we're gonna write playwright install apparently to install Chromium, the headless browser. Well, the browser that playwright is going to use to automate all of these tasks. It's called Chromium, it's what Chrome and Edge and I think even Firefox were built up of. Maybe not Firefox. Okay, Python Natbot. Oh, you guys can't see that. Should I go here? Where should I go? 
here for now. What is your objective? Oh, this is scary. Um, what is the email listed on this website? Error. No API key provided. What do you mean? Set your API key in code using that, or you can set it in an environment variable. I did. If your API key is stored in a file, you can point to the OpenAI module with. Is that an error from OpenAI? Let's check. API key. Yeah, it looks like it is. Um, key. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Open AI. Wait. API. Surely that one. Okay, this. OS Environ get. How the frick does that work? And why is it all messed up? What the? When I highlighted it, just looks really messed up. Uh, let's see what Google has to say about OS environment get. I should have just asked chat GPT. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like 3.5 will be able to answer this question. How can I use environment variables in Python with that? Um, where do I put the variable value? You don't need to put the value anywhere in code. Yeah, but where do I put it? Where should I define environment variables? Export in my terminal. Okay, or set, sorry, in a Windows terminal. All right, um, that is interesting. I'm gonna see if I can do that. That's so annoying actually, as if I can't just save it in a file. Oh, in a config file. Oh, I gotta use python.env. Create this. Then in your Python script, you do what? Load.env. Okay, let's do that. Because I have it in a .env file. Um, uh, do I need a pip install python.env? Pip install python.env. And then in here we import this thing load env and we run it. Okay. Surely now it won't complain about my API key. Alright, what's the objective? Find the email listed on apricot.io let's see if it does it it's still on google it's 
Doodle on Google. Can it navigate to apricot.io? Suggested command type submit nine apricot.io. Do I type submit nine? Or can I, how do I approve? Ooh, parsing time. It's on Google. Suggested click two. It wants to click the Gmail button? I'm confused. So far it hasn't done anything past the Google site. Do I need to press enter? Enter. Oh yeah, it did click Gmail. Let's type submit a apricot.io. And then click nine. So it's giving every line an ID. And now it's creating a Gmail. It's pretty cool how it's um type six submit. So in the username it's gonna type apricot.io. <laughs> Alright, this is I'm gonna stop this and look at the code, see if we can change the starting um starting thing to I assume I assume it's Google at the moment. Wow, is this the prompt? Look at this prompt. Insane prompt. You are an agent controlling a browser. You're given this. You can issue these commands. Oh, dude, this is sick. Harvey Delaney! My good friend Harvey Delaney, thanks for joining the stream. Good to see you. We're automating browser with AI. Click X, type X. We need another one called change URL. Yeah. Go to URL. Completely changes. Go to URL X. Navigate to a new website with URL X. Will it do that? So where were these defined? So type submit. Where is that defined? Well, let's just read this whole prompt. Okay. You're an agent controlling your browser. You're given this. You can do these commands. The format of the browser content is highly simplified. All formatting elements are stripped. Images are rendered as this. Based on your given objective, issue whatever command you believe will get you closest to achieving your goal. You can always start on Google. You always start on Google. You should submit a search query to Google that will likely take you to the best page. So what if I Googled for apricot.io? I think that's what it tried to do, but for some reason it didn't work. Apricot.io. Oh, okay, that works. Okay, so I'll remove my go-to URL because I guess we might not need that. Does that mean I need to debug the Google search? Because it didn't seem to work. All right, navigate to apricot, www.apricot.io and print the, I can't print. No, okay, let's just do, let's do a complex navigation task. Like, what could I make it do? What's kind of, all right, how about navigate to Reddit and find the latest post on r slash auto gpt let's do that yo proof of work what's the topic and goal i'm using this software that's automating the browser using that gpt 
Declan Kelly says, what are you automating browser interaction for testing purposes? No, for automation purposes. Like, I just want to be like, all right, today I want to do this on the internet and then let the AI just do whatever I said. But it seems to be struggling with, okay, no, type submit nine Reddit. I need to maybe not focus. So it should submit no, it needs to type in the, in the, te in the, wait, where is the input text? It's not getting input text. It's never going to be able to Google, right? It's just, no, it just clicked Google search. Now it's going to click e Gmail. No, okay, something's wrong. Type submit. seven search query same as above type except then it presses enter to submit okay so the issue we got I think is input ID 8 search didn't exist how do I debug that Proof of work says create a store website with one click and sell items. Yeah, Declan Kelly says, I'd like to try feeding tech docs for my app and have it generate BDD browser level test. Yeah, that would be cool. Yo, NFT Gamer, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow as well. Scale up your health. It's a nice name. Um, listed elements. So, where's the first thing? Here. Three. Text value. Input. Damn, this is kind of complex. I feel like I might be able to fix it, but I don't want to spend too long trying to fix literally the first step in this. Bots. Let me check their GitHub, see if anyone's complained. Click and type submit a flaky. Can't click off the scroll down. No actions taken in the browser. No, these are not my issue. When were these created? 25 of Feb, that's not too long ago. Ask ChatGPT to fix it. <laughs> I don't think it'll be able to. This is, file is too big for me to just give it to ChatGPT and be like, make this, that. If asked, have you tried breaking ChatGPT yet? No, I haven't. It breaks by itself. <laughs> I don't need to try it. <laughs> um okay crawler go to page google well true browser content where is this from oh equals crawler crawl not quiet url equals that objective equals that print browser content what so what i was getting no, it never says browser content. I was never getting to that. Proof of work says in many countries it takes so long to create a company. Is there a way to do it with one click? I feel like there's so much information. If you like, yeah, feed it information, it could be. With all the documents. Actrophy asks, what are you doing? I'm trying to use this netbot um project which automates web browsing with gpt as the brain um i think i'm gonna add a print here with the browser content
like this, I guess. And try run that again. Can I find my query here? Find the email on that website. See if it br uh, prints the browser content. Cliff says, I managed to get ChatGB to send me the links for marketplaces. Okay. Dude, they doesn't show the input. Um, also it doesn't print the browser content like I thought it would. It does print to what is your objective. I'm gonna add Han just to make sure that... Yeah, okay. I am running the right code. Let's see input goes to google.com while true browser content equals this. Why won't it print the browser content? Why? Or this is it. Is this it? This is the browser content? It actually could be. Yo, this is it. Now we'll know for sure. Oh, thanks for the love you, Cliff. Excel says, how do you use AutoGPT after installing? Um, you run it with Python-M AutoGPT, if you did it the Python way. And then you just give it a goal. And sub goals. Okay. No, so it's still not, oh no, it is. It's twice, weirdly. Um. Why does the browser content look like that? Is that just how Playwright works? Browser content equals join crawler dot crawl. And that's just the Playwright thing. Yep. All right, let's look at their docs, Playwright docs. Playwright python crawler dot crawl use py playwright for scraping the web show me the code don't make me ask chat gpt i think i might have to I feel like I should make my own um my own script. But how long will that take me and is it worth it? I haven't really used um Playwright before, so if I was to do it, I'd use Puppeteer, and I'd probably know what I'm doing a little bit better. But apparently, Playwright is better than Puppeteer, so maybe I should learn that. Can I search here for crawl? Go to page. What is that crawler? What is that, dude? Oh, this is something they made themselves. Oh, okay. So this isn't even a playwright method. 
Cliff asks, where did you learn all this? Um, I'm learning off Google every day. Like, we just learn off the internet. I mean, it's Google now, but it might be ChatGPT or something GPT in the future. Okay, crawl self. Page equals self the page. I'm going to print page here. Mm, print page. All right, this should tell us, sorry, if, um, if we actually get that input or not. If we actually get the input page equals that, that's not very helpful. I need the, I want the actual elements. Um, Cliff says, what did you use to start out? Because I'm in year 12 and I want to learn programming, but I got no clue. Um, Cliff, like, I originally started out with Flash games. I wouldn't recommend that. I'd recommend just doing whatever interests you. Try to make that or try to learn the technology that that is built with. Um, I've, I've heard good things about free boot camp. Free code, wait, no, sorry. Free code camp. Because you can get actual certifications with that. You can learn to code. Um, so maybe try that one. All right, how can I get those as page elements? Pixel ratio, percentage, tree. I don't want to say print this tree, print tree. Let's see. Let's see what that tree looks like. Will it be all the HTML elements before they're stripped? John Power, welcome back. They suggest Scratch by MIT to learn coding. Okay, so this is looks like the whole HTML, which is kind of what I wanted. Let's see if I can copy it. Oh no, it's too much. It's the CSS as well, which is like, whoa. Input. Oh, input, uh, input, nope, mm, button, mm. clear, Please evaluate, strings, nodes, document, nodes, okay, what does it do with nodes? Oh wow. Input value. Mm. Convert name. Where does this get called? Converted node name. Alright, let's print some nodes here. Print node name. Nice, we got a bunch of nodes. No inputs. Why not? Div, 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 div. Is that not an input? Or do we have to wait? Oh, text area. Is it a text area? Is it? Form. Or if I search here, input. There is few inputs, input, input, might be a text area, text area, it is a text area, okay, um, is there anything about text area, there is, not very elegant, more like a placeholder, 
If it's not a button, not a link, not an image, not a text area, continue. Otherwise, oh, if the converted node name is it? Node name. Node name equals a return uh, uh, that. Else return text. Okay. What if we add one called text area? Is that gonna do anything? Text area, okay. Text area, search, search, type submit 10. It still wants to type it on the Google search. What if I call text area input? Then what? Will it still do that? Yo, Cliff Cliff sent a treasure box with 20 coins. Does that mean everyone can get in that treasure box? How does that work? Go to apricot.io. Ooh, big fail. Why? Why fail? Target page, context, or browser has been closed. It doesn't say why. Oh nice, it didn't close that time. Type submit 10. No, it's still trying to submit on the button. What the hell? Is that it? Is that just because ChatGPT is done? At least we got the input right. I'm going to move this back to text area. And then see where it actually asks ChatGPT. It'd probably be an open AI. Completion. Da Vinci 2. No, no, no. No, no, no. Really? No. Surely that's not good, right? We should be using GPT 3.5 Turbo. Is that even a thing? Let's try that. And that broke. 3.5 turbo doesn't exist. Okay, let's check the um, model names on Google. GPT-3.5 turbo. Whoop, that is not what I tried to copy. Still an error. This is a chat model and not supported by a completions index. Okay, so maybe I should be using um, Da Vinci. I mean to use we uh, chat dash completions B one. Hmm. I mean, to be honest. All right, let's see if there's a more, this seems a bit outdated. I'm gonna actually just give up on this and see if I can find a more recent um, browser, autonomous browsing, autonomous browsing GPT thing. GPT assistant, what's this? Go to the quick read me and... Okay, this looks pretty nice. Is there, is it open source? Okay, maybe. Yes. Builder assistant. Okay. Yeah, it's in JavaScript as well. Built with Puppeteer as well. Oh man, I should have done this earlier. Okay. We are making, 
we are quitting out a netbot and we are running GPT assistant soon. Okay, let's open that up. Open API key, a Postgres database. Access to GBG4. I don't have that. A Postgres database. Bro, come on, why? And also, why GBT4? Surely it can be done with GBT3.5. Right. Hmm. I hope so. Also, installing pop installing Postgres is a bit annoying. I think. How do you make a Postgres database? Or should I look for even another tool? Might as well. Um, Auto GPT by Samurai. No. Convenient way to run Auto GPT in your browser? Oh, the real McCoy. Good morning. Are you the real, real McCoy? No, it's just Agent GPT. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to try and make this work. How do I run a Postgres thing? I just download it? I am kinda new to Postgres, but I probably will just download it. Um, how to run local Postgres server? Install it. Let me start menu type PSQL. Okay. Guess I'll just do that. Sixty-four bit. Download the installer. Windows 64 bit. Yo, Panic Attack, welcome back. Thanks for watching so regularly. Stargazer says, can Agent GPT be a live chat moderator? Currently, I don't think so. I don't think Agent GPT can actually take any actions. John Powers suggests trying stable LM by stable AI. No, I haven't used that. You can use PG admin for the interface. Was that in relation to what you said or to Stargazer? Or Postgres? Postgres admin, okay. I don't really want an interface, I just, <laughs> the only reason I want it is because it seems like I need it for this. Um, I don't even know what it would be installing, I mean, say, storing. Dude, I've installed so much shit over the past couple of weeks f um, for TikTok videos. I'm thinking of just doing like a big, a big like, format of my the hell big format of my computer what locale english oh 
All right, while that's installing, let's check my TikTok comments. Yay. People have been asking for that Mac um, installation for AutoGBT, but it's too hard. Look, another one asking for Mac. Damn. Oh, someone called Nando commenting on that Nando AI video. Okay, nothing of interest. Real McCoy, I'm just learning about AI. I saw your post on auto GPT, I assume. I don't know much, but I'm excited. Yeah, that auto GPT post got a lot of views, even though auto GPT isn't <laughs> the most, um, like, A, user-friendly, and B, like, even when you do get it running and stuff, it doesn't really get a good result a lot of the time people expect a lot from it but it's really not there yet I'm really excited for a browser automation tool this one looks awesome this is the one I'm trying to run now um, look at this book me a table for 3 at 8 p.m. And it shows the browser state and the ac output and the actions. It's cool just browsing through a website. You could get it to do so much cool stuff. But this seems like pretty hard to set up as well. You need Postgres. Access to GPT-4. I don't have that. So I'm actually going to be trying to find where that's written in the code. GPT-4 and change that to use 3.5 turbo hope that'll work um, GitHub plugin support? No thank you I'm just gonna be putting in oh my god Putting in my API key here. So don't look. Okay, we're finally done with Postgres. Now I just run ESGL apparently. In in the terminal. Yes, PSQL, sorry. Oh man, PSQL is not recognized. Maybe I just run the f some kind of executable. No. Where did it even install? Post. And here. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. Once the installation is complete, you can verify. Oh, in your start menu, PSQL. Oh, okay, I found it, I found it. Server local host, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I need a password. Oh my god, it quit. Yes, yes. 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 Nice. Okay, so is that just the default? Um, how do I get the URL for it? Yeah. 
User password. Oh. Is that what that is? Netlock. What's Netlock? Is there a secret? At oh, okay. That's weird that I have to put the password in the URL. In plain text. Like what? Okay, I've done that. Let's try run this again. Oh, whoops, not that. What am I even trying to run, actually? Um... Did that, did that. Generate the tables. NPX, Prisma, Migrate, Dev, Name, Init. Okay. Wasn't happy with that. Why not? Unexpected. Oh, can I use yarn? Yarn? <laughs> yarn. Nope. Authentication failed. No. Against da database at server local host. The provided database credentials for Postgres are not valid. Postgres are not valid. Uh, all right, I gotta do this off screen because my password and such. So annoying. Um, oh, maybe let's try that. I think I fixed, I just had a, the username typed twice. Nice, it connected. Now my database is in sync with my schema. Excellent. Now I can just go to yarn dev and hopefully it'll work. Yes, okay. All right, let's get it to automate stuff. Hopefully. What's my prompt? Navigate to w.apricot.io run. Oh, it's doing stuff. Oh, that's it? That's all it did. Where's the... Then? Okay, let's try again. Um, create a new Gmail account. Auto, no. I'm gonna stop saying auto GPT. AI agent made this email at gmail.com oh shit it's doing something oh i got an error i'm gonna make this smaller it um browser state oh look we've got a browser oh shit it's making a gmail ai agent made this email dude it's actually doing it, it it's doing it wrong when it's doing it dude that's insane have I been using Code Whisperer much? Not really. Um, actually, I used it for like a little bit. I just use it whenever I don't know how to do something. I'll use it then. And like when it's something just, I don't know how to write it in code, but I know what I want to do. That's like, that's the use case where I use it. It terminated, account creation complete, even though that's not correct. But that was really cool. Did you guys see how this AI also made, almost made this Gmail account. Very cool. Very, very cool. I don't know if it can save um, any, any data yet. But just the browsing is cool. What's something else that takes a lot of clicks to do? Let's like, if I wanted to find something on like some website, What's an interesting website? Like some government website where it's like the laws are confusing. Oh yeah. Find, no, I was gonna say. Here, create an application for a digital nomad visa in Bali. 
Let's see if we can do that. Make something that cra tracks crypto stocks, says Vibration Dealer. Protocol error. All right, let's restart this. Seems like we ran into some error. Here we go. Ooh. Gonna need to try this again. Are we ready? Or are you gonna complain again? Create an application for digital Bali long stay visa. Look, all right, this is the website. Four oh four. Click apply. Full name John Smith. Question. Error. Okay, it's a little bit buggy, but it's a lot better than anything else that I've tried so far. So very cool. I'm gonna try a few more tests before I look into the code. What's another browser thing we can automate? Tracks crypto stocks? Find, let's go find the newest crypto, crypto projects with market cap between 500 thousand dollars to 1 million dollars let's see okay it's going to coin market cap It went to the next page. It clicked the search button. Well, it should, but it doesn't look like any of that is happening. It's clicking a table row. Why can't I see any of this happening in the browser? I feel like I... Exec shell. Whoa. Oh man, I wish it didn't. Nice. Okay, we could get the actions. Went to coin market cap. It was meant to put browser input five hundred thousand in quote min selector. Let's see if that even exists. You can do that by going into inspect console and like that nope there's no such thing as quote min so it's kind of hallucinating but still very cool i feel like this is a great starting point um let's see if it can go find a post about Auto GPT on Twitter. I think I might need to restart this every time it crashes. Do it. It's going on Twitter. Action click tweet. Click the search box. Okay, nice. It's clicked the search box, but there's this notifications pop up. Oh no, it's still tight. It's still typed the auto GPT for some reason. Hashtag AU after it. Now it's trying to click a selector that doesn't exist. Does this have it logged in? No. Post found and screenshot taken. Where does it put the screenshot? Let's check the files. Selected diff. No, no, no new files. Hmm. All right, let's have a quick look at the code. 
SRC entry components. Let's look at the node modules. Let's see what it's using to to call. Let's look at the dependencies. Yes, Lin, open AI most definitely just using their NPM module. Um, scared, I just almost doxed my N, but nice, doesn't show here. Um, here, index TX. Chat completion request message. Wait, no, here, open AI API. AI, let's just see wherever it's called here. Open AI equals get open AI, open AI, create chat completion. Here we go. Model prompt. Return completion. Let's generate completion. Where is this used? Here, stream equals generate completion. Prompt model number. Writer write. Write it close. And then what? On post. Um, and how does it convert this into an action? Bill McCoy says, how long have you been into computer? Pretty much my whole life. I think technology and computers are so cool. Okay, and I want to think of a task. Real McCoy asked, did you go to school to learn or self-taught? I'd say I'm mostly self-taught, but yeah, I did study software engineering at university here. Look, mom, no hands, we on Twitch. Yo, thanks for the emoji. Octavian, welcome back. Hello. All right, what can we do with this? Um, fix it. Where is it? Let's see if it defines a termination condition. Render result terminate. What am I working on right now? I'm using this new tool I found that uses GPT to um, automate the browser. So I did this one before this prompt, make me a Gmail account for the name Tony Bobashalaka. And then if I run that, you can see it makes a, it goes through and like actually clicks all the buttons and like fills in the name and some password that it accidentally put in the username but if I specified the password that could have worked and it full like automates browser activity you can get it to like book tables for you and stuff yeah, super cool idea. But yeah, as most, just like most of the AI tech, it's not working too well. What are these errors we keep getting? No element found for selector. That's fine. That's like a warning, maybe. I mean, it didn't crash it. And now I'm like just trying to see like, how can I make this better? How can I make this 
per I want to say it's prompt. Look at this prompt. It's huge. Oh, actually, it's huge because it shows my actions. You're an assistant. The prompt is to make a Google account. The actions you can take, load a website, click on something, input something, ask a question, terminate the program, execute a bash command. That's insane. You can also execute bash commands. When you provide a selector, make sure that the selector is actually on the current page. It needs to be HTML. Na, 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 na. Do all read and writes using the shell. It's very cool. The like vision for this project. Super cool. Um, yeah, so this is if anyone's interested. The project name is GPT Assistant. GPT Assistant by Builder.io. Where's Builder.io? Made with love by Builder.io. Drag and drop headless CMS. Oh, that's sick. The first and only headless CMS with a visual editor. Whoa, I don't know how that makes sense. Hard-coded content, component-driven content. Whoa. And then you use your components in the, that's pretty cool. Mr. Hill Smith says, I thought it was Auto GPT. Did you try both? No, um, it's GPT Assistant. Yeah, I've tried Auto GPT and it like, it cannot browse the internet as well as GPT Assistant can. Um, yeah, I can say that. Like it does use Selenium, so it should be able to browse the internet like this one can, but it like, it really can't. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to think how I can extend this. I just got a message on Discord from my homie Solo. I'm going to reply to him. Are we good? If you guys want to join my Discord, I got. It's in links in my bio, tech friends, community. People have been asking stuff. Chris, oh, how effective can auto GPT be? I'm trying to get it to start a side hustle, but it's not exactly doing what I need it to do. It seems very hard to get it to do anything useful, at least with 3.5 turbo. Yeah, that's like all people are asking about these days is auto GPT and how to actually get it to do something, but it's pretty hard to get it to do anything useful. Octavian's heading out. Good luck on my project. Thanks, Octavian, for dropping by. I'm probably wrapping up soon as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to like brainstorm how I can make this tool better. I want to pick one specific task that someone does on the internet every day and or a group of tasks and get this tool to be able to do it really well. Or make it good for like scraping data. Okay, so that's like two things. Let me write this down in my notes. These are my previous um, dream notes to extend Wolverine Pi, which was the Wolverine Pi was the code healing one. But I think a browser automating one would be more appealing to more people. So I'm going to focus on that. Um, dev goals extend assistant GPT 
so that it can scrape data and save it into a CSV file. I think that's a pretty good goal. Um, what other formats can we save data in that's not CSV? Oh, Fireteller coming in clutch with some suggestions. Filter email, collect articles. Yeah, filter email. How would it do that? Give me a prompt example for filter email. Collect articles is good. So that, that one kind of falls under scrape. Filter email. That's cool. So like I'm thinking for this, it's like unsubscribe to all... Um unread emails but it should ask for confirmation before clicking so you can just like be like yes 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 <laughs> it'll be like do you want to unsubscribe from this one you'll be like yes no yes no find related academic papers that's cool find related academic papers put that down Take interests and make prioritized into folders. Like articles from from Yeah, these this is good. This is actually a good starting point. Which one would be easier? I think the email one would be easier. Right? They both? Yeah. The email one would be cool. I feel like I could turn around that project in in like a short amount of time to to be able to like ship it. Oh for email put them into folders, that's pretty cool. Group um emails into folders. Just categorize them, don't take action. So what's the output then, Fire Teller? Also, let me Google, like, thanks for staying around and trying to sub. I wonder why you couldn't sub. Maybe because I'm not in the US. This is everything you need to know about TikTok Live subscriptions, including how to get access, what the benefits for your subscribers are, and some suggestions from my own experiences. You can use the timestamps to navigate through the video, and as ever, you can join my Discord if you need any help. So let's start with the most important thing, one TikToker on Twitter who had... They'll have to follow you, and once they followed you, they'll see this star icon at the top of your live stream once they... What does the star icon look like? Like that. I wonder if that exists. Let me see. We'll move into folders, but don't like unsub. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, the unsub thing will definitely be a um, separate feature. For sure. I'm just going to log into my other TikTok account and see if I have that sub button. On planes, so I'll catch you later. No worries, Fireteller. Thanks for joining. Here we go. Sub. $8.49 monthly re renewal. Let me just try one month. I'm subbing to myself. $10. Seems like it's working. I wonder how much of that $8.50 I get. Payment successful. Oh shit, do I have a sub now? 
Subscribe to Tech Friend. Yeah. Oh shit, we hit the subscriber goal. From myself. Thanks myself. That's great. I can do stuff. What can I do? Explore my benefits. Badges. Emotes. Can I do emotes? Whoa, I'm a friend. Hey, yo, let's go. You just get that achievement? You should get that achievement? Yeah, you should have. I don't know. Sorry, man. I was just debugging it because I thought it was broken, but... You can be my first official sub for sure. I mean, I shouldn't really count. That's sick. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Andreas, yo, what's up? Get to work and I'll stop you. <laughs> Yo, Andreas has hired me for some work, but um, I'm streaming some other stuff right now, so he's like, get to work. <laughs> I will get to work on that stuff, probably tomorrow morning my time. Speaking of subs, I just got a YouTube sub. From Ashwin Ash, thanks so much. Oh, it was 20 minutes ago. Okay, so my subs are working. That's good. If anyone wants to sub, go ahead. It's honestly not that worth it, so probably don't. I don't know. I don't even know how much I get out of it, but I'm assuming it's not much. Um. Yeah. I could take just direct donations instead. I'll have a look. It could be worth it. If they don't take more than 15%, I'd say it's worth it. All right. Um, so yeah, I think I'll probably just wrap up the stream here, guys. Um, thanks for everyone who was watching next time on stream. This is the goal. Extend this assistant GPT so it can scrape data and s save it into a CSV file. No, no, no. We're gonna do the the email grouping one first. I reckon. Um, so group emails into a folder is probably the first one, and then unsubscribe to all read, unread emails. Vibration dealer says they have an idea. What what's the idea? Vibration AI hustle hero. Thanks for the thumbs up. Appreciate you. I'll stick around the chat a little bit. Let me hear Vibration Dealer's idea and also if anyone else wants to ask any questions or has any suggestions. I'm all ears. Real McCoy says, please invite me again, so interesting. I'm not sure how to invite you, but yeah, just follow me, I guess. It might give you a notification. Actually, one other way to do it is if you subscribe to my YouTube, you can turn on notifications as well. There's like the bell thing. And if you want to see my past lives, they're all on YouTube. I've been streaming like once a day at least, which is pretty good. Um, but Bob boy says, do you work with Raspberry Pi? I have worked with Raspberry Pi. I haven't really touched it in many years, but yes, I have worked with the Raspberry Pi.
My boy says, I've been looking for a way to create um, media server to push media about 50 network TVs, TVs on Wi-Fi. You want to stream um, media from the Raspberry Pi? Network TVs all on Wi Fi. Could you do it off just like a server on the internet that's not a Raspberry Pi? Not really sure. Yo, Emily! Welcome back. Caught me as I was about to head off. I'm just wait waiting for Vibration Dealer's idea, which might not even be coming through. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Probably leave it here. And I'll catch you next stream, which... Might be... Tomorrow morning, my time. So, like, either in about nine hours. Or maybe a bit after that. Tudor! Welcome. Thanks for the follow, Tudor, and the like. Are you Tudor Barbalesco? You caught me just as I was leaving. All my friends join as I leave. Have a beautiful day. Oh, thanks, Real McCoy. Hope you have a great day as well. <laughs>